this is the hairstyle we're gonna go for today. It's a nice little bun, something cute and fun that you can do even if your hair is short. And I'm gonna show you guys how to do it. So stay tuned. So to start, we need some oil sheen, eco styler gel, a little chi infusion, my beloved Nairobi, some junior rapid strips to tie it all together in the end. Gonna need bobby pins or some sort of hair pin. Also rubber bands. And finally, a thin rat tail comb to get the parting precise because that really matters in this style. And of course, whatever hair you're gonna add to make your bun with. Here's a 360 of the wet mold and you want to add your chi infusion and oil sheen here while the hair is still wet and then I'm going to put the top into a ponytail and you will see me add the gel. Then I'm taking the eco styler gel and I'm just going to smooth out all of my edges and you'll see me get really close to the part just to ensure that the hair going up into that ponytail is really sleek because the hair is short obviously if you have a pixie or a short cut. So I just wanna make sure everything is sleek and smooth and laid down so that we give the perfect illusion of that hair going up into that ponytail, even if it's too short to actually fit into the rubber band. So once that's all done, you will see me take a small tooth comb and go back through that gel just to make sure everything is completely smooth. I'm combing at the root just a little bit just to make sure it's all sleek before we sit under the dryer. Here's the finished look before I sit under the dryer. That's that part all gelled up. One more time to smooth everything out, make sure it's flat. And the sides I wrap with Nairobi and the gel I only used in the top. Here you'll see me wrap it with three separate junior wrap strips, one lower, one mid, and one in the higher part of the crown of the head. Then under the dryer, here's the dry mold 360 side, the back with that part there, the other side, and back to the front, and we're all dry and ready to add the hair. I'm gonna take a rubber band and take the bundles of hair, wrap that rubber band close to the tracks, just one time, smooth all the hair out, and then I'm gonna take here a second rubber band, wrap it around the top again near the tracks, but with this one, we're gonna twist the rubber band just one single time. Then we're gonna take that second rubber band and wrap it around the tracks and wrap it around our real hair, the little ponytail you created with your real hair. And all this is gonna do is secure the bundles to your hair so that you can then, then create the bun. Do a little dance, ay, ay, turn up. Then we're gonna take the bobby pins and just start to secure that hair. So I'm just sticking the bobby pin through the tracks and that little teeny ponytail of my real hair. So you're just gonna bobby pin and bobby pin and bobby pin and bobby pin some more until you feel comfortable with it. Once you're comfortable, you're gonna take the hair, twist it, and then start to just wrap the hair around that base that you created. So you can wrap it as loosely or as tightly as you know, you're comfortable with, however you want your bun to look. I just wrapped mine a couple times and then I started to use some of the bobby pins to make sure the part I already wrapped didn't unravel. And then when I got to the end of the bundles, I pulled them a little tighter because I wanted um, more of a snug fit near the base. And then from here, you really just play with the bun to get the shape you want. Use the bobby pins to secure the hair once you get the shape you like. And then you can just take your fingers or fingernails, you know, and pull or twist, make it as wide or as narrow as you want. And then always go back to your bobby pins to just secure everything and make sure it stays. So here you'll see me just fluffing the bun out a little bit, kind of pressing it in, getting the shape that I like. So I just take a rat tail comb and kind of comb some of those uh, edges out just a little so that they don't look hard and crunchy just to make sure they're soft but remain flat. And then I'm just checking it from all angles, do a little dance. And I'm gonna give you a 360 here of the final, the side, the back, and then the other side. And we are back to the front. There you go. Okay guys, so that was the finished look. I hope you like it. 
this is what we're going for something cute a little you know fun twist on a pixie you can do it for valentine's day you know switch it all up and as always thank you guys so much for watching like this video and subscribe and i appreciate your support so much if you have any questions leave them down below talk to you guys later bye Thank you.